Hi, I'm Paul Surtis from LaserSafe. Uh, today we're looking at the Sentinel Plus uh, guarding system for press brakes. Uh, this system is designed specifically for retrofit applications. Um, so what we have, uh, the Sentinel Plus system is a camera-based guarding system. So on the machine we have a laser transmitter and a receiver that are mounted to the upper ram of the machine. Uh, the transmitter emits a, uh, an area-shaped laser that envelops the, the punch. And the light shines into the receiver. Uh, the camera receiver is designed to scan the laser area. So we have a, a tool scanning feature. Uh, so by pressing this button here, the camera scans the tool. What that does, it detects the, the profile of the tool and locates the tip of the punch, and then it dynamically adjusts the guarding zone relative to the location of the punch tip. Um, also in the system, we have this little, uh, magnetic operator panel. It just fixes to the front of the machine, and this shows us the information for the, the, the sensing zone, so we have the front, middle, rear sensing zones. Uh, we're also LED indicators on the receiver itself. So this shows the status of the system is aligned and then we have the indicators for the front, middle and rear sensors. So what the system does, it provides optical protection that completely envelops the tool tip. So not only have protection below, uh, in front and behind the tool tip, but also uh, above above the tooltip position so you can detect any obstructions entering from the top uh, in any direction. Um, now when we operate the system, um, the system has to set a muting point so it shows the instructions up on the screen for the operator. So by pressing the pedal, uh, normally you put a piece of material on the die. You press the foot pedal, the machine comes down in slow speed until the system detects the top of the material. So I'll get to this position and automatically stop. Ask the operator to confirm the muting point, which we just set that. So now that position of the material is memorized. So now once we're operating the machine, uh, with this close proximity protection allows the operator to have their hands very close to the point of operation and operate in high speed. So I can have my hands within 20 millimeters of the pinch point and hold the material. If we're bending flat material, the machine will come down in high speed, bend the part without any stopping. And if, if we have an interruption, the machine is coming down in high speed, so finger enters that area, the, the uh, obstruction is detected automatically, the machine stops, and then we have a message up on the, on the display to say that there's been an obstruction. Uh, release the foot pedal. Now the system will automatically monitor the stopping performance of the machine. So anytime the machine stops, it measures the distance to make sure the machine is stopped within a safe limit. If the, the obstruction is now removed, you can then just hit the pedal again, the machine will continue at high speed and we can form the part. We have a bend where there's a permanent obstruction, so for example, um, there's a part that's blocking the entire sensing area, so the machine stops. If we want to leave the obstruction in there and still complete the bend, we can just press the pedal again, and if it's permanently blocked, it just goes into a, a controlled, safe, slow speed, and the system will monitor the speed of the machine to make sure it doesn't exceed the safe speed limit. Uh, also on the display, we've had this mode select button, so if I push that, brings up a number of operating modes. So we have our guarding mode, which is set by, by default it's set to normal for flat sheet bending. We're bending uh, parts that have a flange profile, like boxes or trays. We can select um, two tray modes. So it shows the little symbol of the box. We have tray mode one and tray mode two. And what that does is, if you have a box profile in there, it will detect the presence of the box, the operator just has to confirm with the, by pressing the pedal again and that will mute out that front section of the guarding to allow the box to be formed in high speed. Uh, we also have an, uh, a mute stop mode, so the operator wants to have the machine automatically stop at the muting point to align the material or insert the material 
they can select this mode and the system will automatically stop the machine at that position. And we also have a back gauge mode. So if the back gauge uh, fingers are positioned close, uh, close to the die, uh, to eliminate any interference between the back gauge and the sensor, you can put it in back gauge mode and that'll automatically blank the rear segment just as, just as it's approaching the back gauge finger. Um, we also have a tooling setup mode, so the tooling setup mode will uh, turn the laser off, put the machine into a forced uh, monitored slow speed so the operator can do any sort of tooling setup without without the, uh, any interference from the laser system. Um, and then we have on our info screen here, we can see some machine information, so it shows us things like stopping distance and stopping time. Uh, so if you have um, any sort of safety inspection, safety order or OSHA comes in, um, you can run the machine. It will display the stopping performance in real time, so for example, if I was to instruct the laser, it'll show here, it'll show the distance and the time that's reported for every single stop, so that's constantly monitored. Is that, is that enough? Sort of the 